Hello and welcome to Casual Leaves. Today I'm doing an episode on my syndapsis, Pictus exotica, and that's the most common form of syndapsis that we see. Uh, it's a really beautiful, lovely uh, vine uh, that really gives big and amazing leaves, uh, like this one. And I think um, it's high time I introduce this plant on my channel and did a repotting of it. Uh, not more so repotting, just a potting of it because it's still in its nursery pot um, and I got it from a seller a while back. I haven't introduced this plant yet because I wanted it to take time and settle down uh, into the living conditions that I have created for it and I'm going to talk a bit about it as I repot them. Uh, I have a new ceramic pot for them which is uh, this one and uh, I think this uh, ceramic pot will do well instead of these plastic containers and I do want to get rid of the plastic containers as much as possible so I'm just going to try and either use clay pots or uh, ceramic pots so let's get into it. So before I get into the repotting, I just wanted to show a close-up of the plant. Uh, Syndapsis is actually not uh, very expensive. Uh, it is still a bit uh, uncommon though because you don't easily find it in all nursery shops. But online you could find it uh, in almost all the uh, websites which are there. Uh, it is usually compared to a pothos but it's not a pothos uh, that's a different genus and however it behaves like one so it's a very nice different look than to a pothos so I'll just show the pothos that I have right now so this is my neon pothos that uh, I have started from scratch and that's why it's very uh, leggy at the moment and really doesn't have too many leaves but there's a huge difference between uh, these two guys uh, of course uh, these are uh, epipremnum is the genus and syndapsis itself here is a genus and pothos is a type of epipremnum so that's a theoretical difference uh, otherwise yes both have heart shaped leaves both behave in a similar way it, they can either be climbing or they can be made into trailing vines that's totally up to you so that was a basic difference and that's why I think uh, recently people are preferring to have at least one syndapsis in their collection because of this beautiful splash of the silver on it uh, which it is famous for so there are many different types of syndapsis a lot of different varieties the one i have is pictus exotica uh, pictus is latin for picturesque because they are so beautiful they're so unique the splashes on them are so unique and uh, there is this characteristic which is very uh, common in all syndapsis which is the silver splashes on them so these uh, patterns you see where the chlorophyll is sort of lacking or is distributed very differently genetically between the two layers of the leaf uh, creates the silver pattern and the dark uh, edges or the darker splashes in between them so that's the key feature of a synapsis if you're uh, lucky enough you will have a great bushy synapsis if not it is highly recommended that you combine at least two or three of these together to get a bushy plant i i wouldn't advise you to just wait on them to keep growing because that's just going to take too long so better to buy a couple of these because they are pretty affordable and bunch them together in a pot that's the best way uh, to start with and to feel confident about the plant uh, i'm gonna start with these two right now and see how it goes ahead all right so i'm just gonna empty these out and check how the root system is i have a feeling this one isn't doing so well this guy because it's just for a single vine uh, it's not a great plant to start with but This particular 
plant was doing that well. So it, it's been surviving. It's been giving me new leaves, but hasn't done anything much. Okay, so I think the top view is gonna be better. So this is one line. I'm just gonna keep it here. Let's empty the other one out. because I just don't want to leave it a chance and realize at a much later stage that the leaves aren't uh, growing much bigger though they are this is a new leaf and it's quite huge but I would like to see what happens with a moss pool in it so that's what I'm gonna try Alright, this is how it's finally looking now. Uh, I think it's a bit uh, lopsided right now, but that's only because some of the vines need to be taped in, which I will do right now. But overall, it looks good, and I think this will really help the leaves uh, take up shape, uh, be larger, be healthier, be greener. And yeah, that's all for now. Uh, I'm gonna just fix the remaining of this plant, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!